Welcome Leo and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for Monday the 14th of September through to Sunday the 20th of September 2020. I've already pulled your crowning um, message and your crowning wisdom messages. So let's just get straight into the cards. So the very first crowning message is baby steps. Your life is a canvas. We the Hathors. Okay, for baby steps, it says here, action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. What this is letting us know, Leo, is that um, for you to pay attention to your soul's calling. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So those baby steps of listening to your soul's calling, um, your soul's whispering on a day-to-day -day basis, take one step at a time and build that path um, that you are being led to build, to walk the life create the path that you are fated um, to, to live here on earth. With the second card, your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, create accountability. So Leo, what this is letting us know is that you are the artist um, of your life here on earth. And it's for you to create what you, what you want to live in terms of your best life. Be mindful of what you are manifesting, what your thoughts are, because that is creating your future. By taking your, the baby steps of listening to your soul's calling, I feel that this is going to help you paint that picture of the life that you see for yourself here on earth. With the final card, we the Hathors, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. This is letting you know, Leo, that Mother Earth um, has you, has your back right now. Um, divine, your spirit guides are all around you. You may be quite heavily connected um, to divine, your spirit guides. But this is letting you know the love that Mother Earth has for you, divine has for you. And they're encouraging you to take those baby steps, walk through this portal, which is shown here and also here in the Hathor's card. They are guiding you and illuminating this portal, this life that you're supposed to be living, the life that you are supposed to be creating because it is your life, the canvas. You are the artist to illustrate by the thoughts, what you're manifesting to come into fruition but take those baby steps, one task, one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. For your crowning wisdom message, you have manifesta, evolution and freedom. I feel that Leo, what these wisdom cards are letting you know is that what you are manifesting through your thoughts, through your gestures, is coming into fruition. It's, it's being birthed in order to create the life that you're supposed to be leading here on earth. There's something that you have evolved from and freed yourself from. 
um, with the evolution and freedom card here. You've gone through a major transformation, I feel, and your third eye chakra um, connecting with your heart chakra with the green in here um, lets me know that um, this is probably to do with some sort of relationship. It may even be karmic, but you have freed yourself um, from, from that situation. And right now, whatever you are manifesting is being planted, is being birthed to create that life. Um, that you envisage for yourself and spirit is guiding you and encouraging you to take those baby steps and just go with the flow of life with evolution you have I feel come through something that has transformed you and you may be now connecting with your soul's calling Really beautiful. And the message on your card, Leo, for, from this particular deck, it says, the energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. And I almost feel that this kind of sums up your crowning message and your crowning wisdom message. Whatever you have come through that has um, freed yourself, that has transformed you, now is the time to just go with the flow of life, to um, believe in yourself, take those baby steps. The process of um, being the artist of your life as a canvas is something that's going to take time. So take those baby steps, believe in yourself, because I feel that you are coming through, coming um, through a, a process of um, transformation, evolution, and what you are thinking and manifesting um, I, I feel that it's very much connected with your soul's calling. Okay, Leah, let's get straight into the cards. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? The week commencing Monday the 14th of September through to Sunday, the 20th of September, 2020. What is their current energy, spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Leo in love that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around us. Thank you. Okay, Leo, let's see. How does the soulmates of Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love that we're allowed to see for their highest good? Thank you. Six of Cups. How does these soulmates please feel towards Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? In love. Week commencing Monday the 14th of September through to Sunday the 20th of September. But we're allowed to see for a bit, thank you. We have the chariot, the 
tower. Two more, please. How does this soulmate of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Okay, Leo. I feel that the message here um, definitely confirms your crowning message and your crowning wisdom message. There was definitely some sort of drama or some sort of tower moment um, that happened with the person that you're thinking about. Or it could be um, you're coming out of a situation where um, the person has brought you to a place where you have completely evolved and transformed and freed yourself um, from, I almost feel like it's a karmic connection. But the person that you are thinking about, um, they are thinking about you also. They are reminiscing, they recognise um, that they know you on a very deep soul level. They um, probably feel that they've known you for many lifetimes um, and they want to support you um, and they want to guide and help you um, on your life's journey. And that may be their purpose um, for you um, in, in your life. I feel that they are quite protective over you, quite protective over this connection. Um, and they are coming through as somebody that is supportive, somebody that um, wants to guide you. They may be very different from you, um, but it's, it, it feels like that's okay. But there may have been um, some sort of drama between um, you and the person that you're thinking about, but I feel that it needed to happen. And I think it is um, a connection that was meant to happen for the both of you. In this particular tower card, you'll notice that two people are falling um, from, this, from this tower moment. So I feel that both of you um, may have gone through um, some sort of evolution and freeing yourself from probably um, a very karmic or toxic situation. I feel that they're coming through as seeing you as the Queen of Wands. Whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. They're seeing you as somebody that is um, uh, inspirational, independent, free, freedom. Somebody that's passionate, somebody that um, is creative and aspires to, to bring that passion into this connection. This also could be you, Leo, as well, coming through as a Queen of Wands. They may see you as somebody that's independent, beautiful, passionate, creative, which almost resonates with your description card, that your energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, passionate, focusing on the importance of self-belief. With the Ten of Swords, I feel that whatever this tower moment was, whatever this drama was, it created an ending to 
a toxic situation or an ending to how this relationship was evolving because it wasn't serving you or them. I do feel that they are deeply connected to you. They may be part of your soul tribe and is on this path with you um, to support you, to guide you. And it's a very victorious uh, connection, but there's something that needed to come down in order for it to be built again. And I feel that's where the evolution and the freedom is. It also can mean that with the Ten of Swords that um, they are that there may not be a lot of uh, communication. They may be over analyzing um, this connection, over analyzing um, this tower moment, um, not wanting um, to repeat that cycle. So, Leo, I feel that you may be manifesting. Um, you know, possibly a new beginning with this person or vice versa. And I feel that you're being encouraged um, in a very positive way from your spirit guides, from Mother Earth, to let you know that um, the love for you on a spiritual level, uh, from Mother Earth, from Divine, um, is cradling you right now as you go through um, this evolution to free yourself, looking at things from a different perspective, but just remembering to take those small steps, listen to your soul's calling um, and, and just take one step at a time. Let's get some clarifications, Leo. Okay, please can you clarify the arts, thank you. Okay, so we've got the Emperor. Can we see that? We've got the Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, Leo, I feel that the person that you are connecting with is coming through as um, an Emperor, um, that, that energy of Emperor. Whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. They are coming through as a leader, somebody that is um, quite strong in their conviction. They may have um, a little bit of ego, um, but they also could be you, um, Leo, somebody that's proud and passionate um, and does believe in this connection. Um, with the person that you're thinking about, or it could be vice versa. With the Five of Pentacles, um, I feel that they are recognising um, this connection for what it is, and they do want to give to this connection. Um, because they recognize how deeply connected in terms of past lives. With the guidance, the chariot card, the angel of guidance, I feel that they are um, fighting for this connection. They may have, um, or you both may have obviously you've gone through some sort of drama in your lives. It could be with each other, it could be with a past relationship um, that you are freeing yourself from. But whatever it is, they're putting those battles and those challenges behind them, um, recognizing that you are the person for them. They're only interested in you. And they recognize the victory of, um, rushing in to guide you, to protect you, to be that supportive um, partner to you through your soul journey here on earth. Thank you. And you've got the sun, which is really beautiful. This is the most victorious 
card in the deck of tarot so there is you know you've got victory here the ultimate victory here they do see you as their happiness um and they feel very very strongly about it uh, with that emperor energy i feel that they do recognize um the past life connection and their role um in your life is to support you to guide you um to that next stage of creating um that canvas of the life that you see and you envisage for yourself so not only are they supporting and guiding you but also mother earth divine letting you know that there is so much love around you we have the wheel of fortune the eight of cups and the three of cups okay so for the um tower um coming up with the wheel of fortune here i feel that um this drama that happened between you and the person that you are thinking about um it was fated it needed to happen i i feel that it was part of the lessons the journey um that you both agreed um on a from a from a soul contract viewpoint um to to go through in order to teach each other something to help you and encourage you in this evolution and free yourself from drama from toxicity and they are walking away leaving behind anything that doesn't serve them and walking towards um you who i feel is the is is the is the queen of wands they may be focusing on um their their pentacles um focusing on the emotion um that they have for you i feel that whatever happened um in the past it was it was it was definitely a wake up call for you leo and i feel that it it really pushed you um to go deep within and to connect um with your soul and i feel that you're waking up to that um you've you're evolving um and then you know it may be past behaviors um that you were doing they were doing that you both needed to to learn from um in order to take you to that next step step into your spiritual journey they do want to meet with you or you want to meet with them they do want to celebrate um this connection with you because they do recognize um that it is a very deep soul connection you may be um their ultimate um soulmate um they recognize that you've lived many many lives together and i feel almost like this is a soul contract um that you've been brought into their life they've been brought into your life to help you along the lessons and the learnings um that your soul agreed to um when you came to earth so they do want to celebrate this connection they do want to celebrate the fact that you have both come through this drama you have both evolved and freed yourself from i almost feel like something that was quite toxic but that was the learning and the ace of cups there is so much love um that you both have for each other um it is unconditional and it is unspoken and i feel that you both feel um this love for each other and that's what they want to celebrate um 
the drama that happened, it, it was meant to happen to push you both into this evolution, into this freedom, to connect with your soul's calling. And it's all encompassed around the love um, that Mother Earth has for you, divine, um, your spirit guides, um, who are just embracing you with that deep, deep love recognizing that there's a new beginning something had to be broken down in order for something new to be birthed and pay attention to what you are manifesting you may have realized how deep this connection is they may have realized how deep this connection is but also remember that what you are manifesting what you are thinking take those baby steps i genuinely feel that you are beginning to come into your own of really connecting with your soul's calling. Really beautiful, Leo. So, yeah, believe in yourself. Believe in the connection. Um, whatever has gone on in the past, it needed to happen. It was, it was the lesson that you uh, both agreed to bring to each other in this lifetime. Thank you. And your final two cards, beautiful. You've got the Empress and Strength. So the Empress is the um, divine counterpart to the Emperor. Um, I feel that um, the person that you are connecting to is somebody, um, whether male or female, they are somebody I feel that you hold in high regard. Um, you see them as um, spiritual, worldly, fertile, abundant. And you're having the strength um, to move away from the ending that I feel was quite karmic, that needed to happen. Um, with the strength card, I mean, the strength card is the representation for Leo. So I almost feel, Leo, that you and your counterpart, the person that you're thinking about, are coming, um, coming through together side by side with regards to this ending, with regards to overanalyzing, poor communication, something toxic i feel that started um in this connection needed to bro be broken down in order for you to evolve in order for them to evolve um to free yourself um from toxic behaviors um maybe they helped you move away from a um a, a karmic contract with somebody else um which I feel almost like it may have spilt over into your connection with this person, which which resulted in some toxic behaviours um, that were filtering in um, to, to, to your relationship um, with the person that you're thinking about, or vice versa. They could have been coming out of something quite karmic and toxic. But the... But the key to the message here um, is that this is a an extremely um, divine, deep connection. You both have lived many, many lives together. I feel that there is a soul contract um, that you made with each other before you came to Earth to bring in these lessons to each other, but to also guide each other, to support each other, um, to help you go through this evolution, to free yourself from toxic behaviours, toxic karmic relationships, and to connect um, with your soul's calling to create and be the artist of the life that you envisage for yourself. Okay, let's see what your advice is, Leo. What's the advice for the collect? Thank you. So your first 
advice, Leo, is observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. And I feel that that's exactly what you're doing. I feel that you have um, observed either a past karmic connection that helped you to free yourself in order to evolve to the next stage of your spiritual journey. And I feel that you are connecting um, with your soul's calling, observing the divine matrix of, of life. All of this um, was part and parcel of you going to that next stage. And I feel that the person that you are connecting to um, is helping you and guiding you and supporting you through this observation that you both may have had of maybe toxic behaviour towards each other that needed to come down, that needed to be broken in order for you to evolve and free yourself. Thank you. Oh. And your second advice is love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. So looking at um, your main card of self-belief, I feel this is letting you know um, that it's really important to, to love yourself um, first. Um, live your truth and the love and joy and peace in your heart. Um, let that radiate through. Let that um, be part of the canvas, the painting um, that you are um, creating um, on, for, for your own life. You know, everything that we do should be through love, particularly when it comes to matters of the heart with our soulmates, our twin flames. Everybody that comes into our life um, has a purpose. Um, and so this is just letting you know that really by observing what has gone on either with the person that you're thinking about or a karmic relationship, um, you have observed. I feel that your soul's calling is, is letting you know to share your truth in love um, because that is really at the heart of your soul. And that's why, you know, going with the, the flow of life, um, freeing yourself, and just almost being comfortable in your own skin, in the love that you have for yourself. I, I feel that this is strongly about self-love, Leo. One more advice card, please, for... Thank you. Wow. Blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. And, you know... It just resonates the self-love that we were just talking about. Um, the blue flame is, um, is, is a very, it's almost like a divine uh, connection. It's, it's a lot deeper um, than your, your twin flame. It, it's very much on a spiritual divine level, um, which is just pure love it, it's almost like agape love um you know the love that the universe divine um mother earth has for you is so deep and the mother's milk is here to nurture you to help birth you know a new beginning with yourself um and with the person that you're connecting with, I feel. I feel that whatever you've gone through um, is, 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 is taking you down a path of self-love, um, connecting with that pure love that is within you. Okay, Leo, um, that is your love message <coughs> for Monday, the 14th of September. 
through to Sunday the 20th of September. Uh, please feel three, free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs to get a wider um, perspective. If you are a Sun Leo, then obviously look at your Mun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, but this is um, for the collective of uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So um, check out um, your other elements in your birth chart. Um, for a broader perspective. Um, if this resonated with you, Leo, please feel free to click that subscribe button um, and give, um, give the video a thumbs up. It will just help push out the message to other fellow Leos. Other than that, um, I will see you next week for another love message. And in the meantime, I'm just sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care, Leo. Bye bye.